Thank you so much, Teresa, for saying that. And Cauldron Born, hello, everybody, and welcome. I didn't have my uh, audio on there. Sorry about it. Let's get a little music in here. Everything was turned off. <laughs> Happy Ostara and uh, Spring Equinox to everybody. Hello, how's everybody doing and what are you all doing to celebrate? Inka Dinka Doodle, Kathy, Meg, Maha. Maha says, Happy Ostara, everyone. I'll be popping in and out. I'm up to my elbows in hot cross bun dough. <laughs> I guess we know how you're celebrating tonight. Inka says, Hi, everyone. I'm celebrating Ostara and the sun with bunny and carrot shaped paper lanterns and pretty colored solar lights. Oh, that sounds gorgeous. I started with green for St. Patty's Day and went from there. <laughs> Hello to Eos and Kathy. And let's see, Teresa's here, Baja Rubio, Dory. Hello, Cauldron Born. Helpful Natural is here. Thank you all for letting me know that I was not doing any audio there for a second. Mickey is here. Hi, Julie Van Aarons is here. Let's see, April Seeking Magic. Sorry if I missed anybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Julie says, Happy Ostara. I'm going to do ritual tonight. I got wine and lemon cake. Mmm. April says, I'm new, but I'm excited to see what you're doing. Welcome. Welcome to all the new people. Anybody who's lurking too. Hello. Cauldron says, I'm celebrating by doing some magical crafts. My favorite. Helpful is also making dinner. We'll be back and forth. Did I say hello to Meg? I hope I didn't miss anybody. Hello to all. My celebration was earlier today, but I am having one cocktail not sponsored, but, um, you know, I decided I had to have coffee. So we'll just do a little bit of Bailey's in the coffee because I couldn't be bothered to find a bottle of wine that was appropriate or whatever. Eo says, celebrate. I burnt a stick of incense. Might burn more. I also have my raddies for company. Oh, cuteness. April says, I did a full ritual of gratitude and opening heart to the fertility and growth of the season. Oh, that sounds nice. Gemma Lynn says, hi to all. Happy spring. Let me know if I mispronounced any names. Is it Gemma? Hall Lyra says, oh, I'm sorry. I cannot, I cannot speak that. Sorry, I don't have the um, translate available. Teresa says they're drinking some cab. Bailey's Hill, yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing to throw into coffee if you don't have something to make a cocktail. I just got back. Uh, we almost didn't do the stream. <laughs> I literally just drove up into my driveway, threw everything on here, and started the stream because I was running late. But um, today I went to the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. And it's a little bit further than the zoo for me. The safari park is um, kind of up in northern San Diego County. And um, when I got, I thought we left early enough, but we did not. And it was tr rush hour traffic all the way home. <laughs> so I was like, please let me get there by four. Please let me get there by four. <laughs> Mickey says, I'm celebrating starting last night and I made a soup, soup with a combo of last winter's veggies and spring veggies and lemon meringue pie. Mmm. For lunch, I made sunny little deviled eggs. Kathy said they're working on their book of shadows and learning so much.
So today we're going to make Ostar decor or spring equinox decor or whatever it is you're celebrating. It could be Easter. It, uh, this is a kit that you can buy. There's a link below the stream. If you want to buy one, you can. No pressure. You can make this with something you have at home. But the kit is what we're doing today. And I like to use the wrapping that comes in the kit to do my uh, protect the space from paint and whatnot. Yes, says, ooh, San Diego Zoo, anything is wonderful, though I never heard of the Safari Park. Is it also in Balboa Park? No, it is not. It is in Escondido. So it's northern San Diego County, and it is a enormous park with an actual savanna so they actually have herds of african animals and you can take a tram all the way around the the area which i did not do today but that's the most popular thing this is the asmr portion Normally I would just spread this out everywhere, but I made such pretty little decorations that I didn't want to move them. So we're putting our eggs aside. <clears throat> Escondido is a very nice area. It's surprisingly, um, there's a lot of agriculture up there in Escondido, surprisingly. I really feel like you're in the country. I'm just adding some water. I'm gonna put little drips of water in all my little, little bits here so I can just thin out the paint a little bit. Sometimes the paint in these pots really, um, starts to thicken up a bit. So I'm just some quick water. There we go. I'm gonna start with the green and do a background. Inca says, those who may remember my difficulties with a friend last time, I've let her go and feel better for it. I have been thinking about you and about that since last we spoke. Every once in a while I'll see like a little meme or something on um, social media that reminds me to let go of the toxic people in my life and, and I was like, oh, I hope they're doing good. Never, letting go is never easy. Yes, absolutely. Susan is here. Hi, you finally made it to a live. Yay. I'm pretty sure you've made it to a live before. So we're just doing a green background so we can chit chat. It doesn't take um, any concentration to just make a completely green background. I'm just adding some water to the paint so that it'll spread easier on the wood and so that it'll dry a little faster because it's not so thick. I want good coverage, but I also want don't want to wait for it to dry all day. So yeah, I was at the um, Wild Animal Park, which is what it used to be called. It's called the San Diego Zoo Safari Park now, which is a mouthful, but it used to just be called the Wild Animal Park. I've lived in San Diego all my life, born and raised, so I kind of call things their old names sometimes. <laughs> Meg says, I took my nephews there last year. I had the time of my life, though I think my nephews had more fun than I did. It was awesome all around. It's such a great place. There's so much to do. You can ride the, um, the ride all the way around the tram, all the way around the entire park. Um, you can visit 
the animals individually. They have people who have um, like animal ambassadors in little areas where they you can walk up and they'll talk about them and they'll be they'll be holding the animal, you know, like a an owl or a whatever it is. And they'll tell you about them. There's an area with bats, and there's lots of um, there's a lagoon with a waterfall with tons and tons and tons of uh, water birds. Like there's pelicans, herons, um, hornbills, there's all sorts of loons, ducks, geese, even a, there were two ravens there today. Of course I named them Hugin and Munion. And everybody is trying to get a girlfriend Everybody's trying to get a boyfriend. They're all pairing off and spreading their wings and showing their, take, shaking their tail feathers, trying to get some interest in, in spring mating season. So it was fun. It was loud, but fun because the birds are all trying to be loud. That which serves us is no, is rarely easy. Yes, Inca, that's so true. Sometimes it's just really surprising to find out that people have a different opinion of you than you thought they did. And they've been holding it for a long time secretly. <laughs> I would have preferred if you would have told me earlier. It just makes space for a new person in your life who appreciates you more. <laughs> That's how I think of it. Oh, I missed a comment from Lyra. Oh, from Brazil, I don't speak English. Hello, welcome. Welcome to everyone. Yeah, sorry, I didn't recognize the Portuguese. I usually can guess what the language is when I'm looking at it, but that one, that one stumped me for sure. Okay, we're halfway there. We got the inside painted. Now it's time to paint the edges. So the fun thing that they just started at the um, Safari Park is a spring butterfly exhibit. And it just started two days ago and it's gonna go for I think a month or two. And what they do is they take an aviary, they empty out all the birds that might eat a butterfly and only leave in the birds that don't eat butterflies. <laughs> and then they fill it with all sorts of species of butterflies. They add in flowers, they add in platters with bright colors and fruit on it. They put pollen, all, just all sorts of amazing stuff. And then they fill it with butterflies and you can go in, they allow a certain number of people at a time. So you have to, you have to book, um, a time space that you're going to be at it and buy a ticket for a certain uh, certain time and then they give you some instructions and then they let you in I took a ton of um, videos so I'm gonna make a vlog about it for sure because it was amazing and magical and fantastical and just the best way to celebrate Ostara I've ever I've ever seen they let you take a little cup of pollen, like a little, um, almost a test tube, and they stick a fake flower into the pollen to kind of attract the butterflies, and you're allowed to carry it with you to try and get a butterfly to land on you. It didn't work for me, but 
um, I was just having so much fun. I didn't, I didn't get disappointed. It's really interesting when you leave as well, because there's a whole protocol for leaving and entering and walking around so that none of the butterflies get out and none of the butterflies get stepped on. And they have this whole protocol where there's three different layers of exiting and you have to do a full circle and an employee looks you over and checks your bags to make sure a butterfly didn't accidentally fly into your bag or into your hair or someplace. And they do that three times before you can go. <laughs> And each time you're going through a door, so it's three doors. They've got it down pat. Welcome back, Eos. Let's see, what did I miss? Oh, Gemma says, my decorations are nice. Thank you. So I ran into the house and I was like, I got to throw some Ostara stuff around. So I grabbed some eggs and some flowers and some grass and made a little fake nest. <laughs> it was fun. Inca says... It's very kind of you to have thought of me and the friend situation. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Okay, we're almost there. Just got to do our little inside edges and our little outside edges. Maybe I'll um, do the outside edge some other time. Because that's not a very fun thing to watch. Plus it'll make my fingers all green. Let's move this over and get this a little closer to me. Zoom in a little bit. I'm trying to get a little fan here. I was rushing so much, I just feel like I'm just a sweaty mess. Inka says, it's so funny how my friend Brandy couldn't be less Wiccan, but manages to offer just because gifts at the right times. <laughs> That's nice. It's so funny to just see two ravens because it's a, they call it the Mombasa Lagoon. So it's a lagoon area where a lot of water birds are. So the ravens really look out of place. It's kind of funny. I'm used to seeing 20 or 30 ravens at a time at my house, so just seeing two of them was was kind of odd. So I had to go with Hugin and Munin on that. <laughs> my nephews wanted to do the air balloon ride. I had to put the kibosh on that because I'm terribly afraid of heights can't get up a ladder without having an anxiety attack. Yeah, I don't think they were doing the air, um, the air balloon today. I think that might be a weekend thing. But they still have it up there. You can see it from miles away as you're heading, as you're driving towards the park, it's up in, up in the sky. Can't miss it. They now have a zip line where you can um, do a zip line kind of thing over some of the um, Savannah area or something. Also, that's kind of not for me also. Okay. I think I'll do the outside edge at the last portion once it's all done. Oops. Yeah, 
and they have you can do like a, a photo safari where they'll take you in a jeep on right on right down within the animals and you can take photos as well that's an excursion you can purchase and everyone I know who's ever done it has said it is absolutely worth the money to do that they also have a new um, Australia area where they have animals that you can't see in regular zoos like spiny echidnas and platypuses and kangaroos and all that well some of those you can but I think they have the only spiny echidna outside of Australia or in the US or something like that okay we're right, well, we're right there let this dry maybe need to darken that just a bit Let's see how I'm doing some light spots okay that's probably good enough. Missing all the chat. <laughs> Dory says it's snowing here in upstate New York. Oh my goodness. It's still snowing. Teresa says, boy, did I pick the right day to come in here. <laughs> And somebody just said hello. Oh, I scrolled past. Greenleaf is here. Hello all. Hello. Inca says it's snowing in a lot of places. Wow, it's still snowing off and on in our mountains too. Inca says you also have to walk gently through the butterflies and they encourage you to wear bright colors so they'll land on you. I didn't wear bright colors because I always wear black. I'm pretty much 90%, 99% black. But I did have purple hair. So there was a little bit of encouragement. And then I was holding the flower. But I was mostly just crazily filming because it was just like, it was, it was like being a little Disney princess, you know? It was fun. So let's let that dry. And we will do our rabbit, our first coat on our rabbit. So now you can do the rabbit either brown or white, and I'm gonna go with brown. I forgot to have a piece of napkin here, but that's okay. I'm just going to get a bunch of brown and start going to town with this. This is going to take a couple of coats because the underneath is so light that um, it shows through a bit. So this will just do the first coat. Calden Bourne says, St. Patty's Day was a victory day for me and all witches. I celebrated St. Patty's Day with a little bit of Bailey's in my coffee as well. That's why I had the bottle. <laughs> and we like to watch a movie called Moondock Saints. And we usually watch it every year and we have corned beef and cabbage. So not a lot of shenanigans on my part. Kind of a quiet night in. However, I am going to go to Las Vegas in July and I want to go to Nine Fine Irishmen, which is an Irish pub in the New York, New York casino. And 
it's kind of like St. Patty's Day every day <laughs> there. So I will probably do a little bit more celebrating. Okay, that's coat one. I think we got all the little edges. Make sure I get all the little footies and the ears. Okay, I think that's good. I think we got the whole situation. Let's set this one aside to let it dry. Zoom out a little bit. covered in paint. Okay, the next thing to do is to make some grass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some different colors of green on my palette. So I'm gonna take the basic green. It's still got a little bit of brown in it. And mix it with the brown to get a little bit of a darker shade. And then I'm gonna take some of the basic green and put it there, and some of the basic green and put it there. And I can add the white to make it slightly lighter and then slightly lighter again so I can have different shades of this color. So I'm gonna add some white. to make a really light one, and then something in between. A little bit lighter. There we go. So we have a super light, a medium, and then a darker. And I'm gonna start with the dark one. And I'm just gonna make little bits of grass. Little, I'm using the fine tip brush. Don't forget the edges. Zoom in a little bit more. Let's turn off that fan. Finally stop sweating my face off. I realize that I kind of live a stress, a very low stress life. So when I have to rush, <laughs> I don't do well with it. I've lost my ability to deal with stressful things because of my stress-free situations. Little bits of grass here and there. You catch up on chat too. Tori said, I made custard and deviled eggs. Mmm, things made with eggs. Perfect for a star. And the spring equinox. So we're just making a field of grass. So you really can't do it wrong. You can just go crazy.
I'm going to leave some of my darker paint for later so I can add it on top. In case I in case I get too light, I can take it back a little bit. So I'm going to go a little bit lighter. This is pretty close to the background color. I hope you guys can see on screen on the camera that this is a bit lighter. It kind of blends in, but that's the point. We're going to work up to a much lighter. So this is a much lighter. Hello, Boulder Girl, Karen, welcome. I think, um, are you an hour difference? From, I think Colorado is mountain time, right? So it's an hour difference from us. Mickey says, I think I'll work on my book of shadows and craft too. Absolutely. This is a craft together kind of a, a, a live stream. Just a couple of hours to hang out, chit chat, and do whatever crafting or art or project of any kind a lot of people like to make dinner do cooking it's all part of being a maker everything is witchy in its own way i think this is the most fun part just making all the grass And then I'm going to go, let's see, so we got all the light ones in there. I think I'm going to go more medium, add more medium, and then I'll add dark again. That one was a little big right there. <laughs> that needs to be fixed. And you just stop whenever you feel like it, whenever it seems done. Now that we've done our grass, it's time to go back to our rabbit and give our rabbit a second coat. It looks very grassy. I'm pretty happy with that. Greenleaf says, Colorado here too. Okay, let's jump in back into the chat. I've missed so much. Greenlee says, I used acrylic markers on a past project. Oh yeah, one of the um, one of the ones with wood. I do a lot of projects on unfinished wood. It's just kind of my jam. I really like it. Heather says, I'm doing egg dishes. Mm -hmm. Oh, S. Brock is here. Hello. And hello, Heather. And anybody else I might have missed. 
<laughs> you mean food, right? Or egg-shaped dishes? You guys are so crafty, I have to ask. <laughs> Susan says, I began using colored pencils on various color books, adult coloring books, you know, so I feel better about coloring. Heather says, food, but now I may make egg-shaped dishes as well. <laughs> So welcome to anybody who has arrived since I was trying to do grass because I was very, very concentrating. Okay, let's move our grass away and get our bunny back here. Get our second, get our second level of paint on that. The witch's runes. I've been thinking about that project, um, Greenleaf. I have been thinking about that project. I did that video, one of my first videos. So I'm gonna say five years ago. Oh yeah, because my face is so white and the, the light, I have to have the light really bright right here to get the to get the picture. So it shines right on my face and makes me look about as white as this cup. Ooh. Yep. No difference between me and the cup. <laughs> Tori says, I have my bachelor's in fine arts and I use Prismacolored pencils, more color, less wax. Yeah, I like that too. I have the cheap version and the more expensive version and there's a, a huge difference in wax. The cheaper versions almost act like crayons. They have so much wax. Okay, wait, where's my brown? Here it is. I can focus. I can do two things at once. Read, talk, paint, drink. Okay, with the paintbrush. It still has green on it. Uh, that's okay. Don't worry about this green. Nothing to see here. All right. Second coating of brown. Let's get it. Now, if you want your rabbit to look like chocolate rabbit, this is the step you stop at. I'm gonna go a little bit more with details and stuff, but if you just want it to make it look like candy, then two coats, I think, is all you need. We'll see how it looks when it dries, but I'm pretty sure you stop at this step for a chocolate bunny. So it depends on whether you want candy or if you want it to look realistic. But realize, of course, that the eggs that we're gonna put on the project do not look realistic because they have glitter but they do kind of look like candy. So you could make it look like, like that. Mm, it looks like a chocolate bunny. It makes me want chocolate. Mm -mm. Okay, brown. We have a little sparkle in this project, yeah. Speaking of not having terrific vision, <laughs> I feel like I should probably have a magnifying glass, like somewhere where you can't see it, like it's off this camera and it's also off this camera and somewhere like hidden right here where you can't see my hands to magnify my projects. That would be the way to go. Okay, leave that one to dry. We're gonna go back to our other thing, which is now dry, hopefully. Mostly dry, not 100%. Looks like a chocolate bunny yummy. So here's the thing I developed. You can either use the little tiny brush because it works just fine. It's a little detail brush. 
or I made this. I made a pencil with a sewing needle, a sewing pin on it to make a dotting tool. So I'm going to try that. Mickey says, I got a set of Black Widow not long ago. I don't know that brand. Hmm. But I wasn't impressed with them, so I'll go back to Prismacolors. Thank you. Okay, well then I guess I don't need to know that brand. So this little tool is nice because you can make little dots. But I need to add a little bit of water because it's kind of solidified in there. Sometimes the paint in these uh, these little things kind of solidify. Got to get it somewhere between solid and too liquid. <laughs> I think I got a little too liquid. Yep, too liquid. I gotta go get a um, paper towel because there's it's starting to get mm, not great. Okay, hopefully I can fix this before it gets too bad. Oh boy. <laughs> well. Shouldn't have added that much water. Let's try fixing it with white. We can put a little white by the little yellow and it won't look like it's too much of a mess. We're gonna do white and yellow flowers all over the whole thing. Heather Stewart gifted a magical crafting membership. So somebody got a membership. Oh, another one. So if you, somebody might be a member. See if you got a gifted. Oh, Eos, it says who it was. Eos got a gifted membership. Woohoo! And who else? Onita Rodriguez. Congrats. Heather, are you a person who watches Twitch? Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Well, that's what they call it on Twitch is gifting subs. It's a gifted membership on YouTube, but I think they took the idea from Twitch. 
I try to make these uh, like a fat one, a skinny one, and then a couple of really small ones. So they look like they're all distances away and sizes. Heather says, I do sometimes. Yeah, I think that um, people who have are used to watching live streams on Twitch are more familiar with the idea of gifting a sub because it's something that they've had for years. You could also make the flowers look like flowers. You could do petals and centers and the whole thing. It doesn't have to be dots, but I find dots look look fun and they're easy. They're fun to make and they're fun to look at. You just have to make them irregular and then make little clumps of them. Because if they're too regular, then it looks fake. They're like regular irregular, if that makes sense. <laughs> Cauldron Born says, I watched Greyhound of a Girl today and bawled my eyes out at the end. I don't know that one. I haven't heard of that one. Okay, I'm going to try the yellow again and hope that it's not too wet. I might have put a little too much. I'm gonna get some of this like thicker paint and add it to the thinner paint and see if I can get it to where I like it. These are for sure dandelions, right? <laughs> Eos says, I know my spouse streams on Twitch and they've had some gift subs. It's similar to YouTube, yeah. Hopeful says, what did I miss? Well, we had a little trouble with our yellow paint because I thinned it uh, too much. So I'm trying to use a little bit of the thicker edges and fix up my mistake. You can always cover this mistake stuff up with, uh, with eggs. We're going to put eggs around the edge anyway. Yeah, I added a little too much water. We have not quite a super bloom, but we have a lot of wildflowers happening in our deserts because we've had so much rain that it brings out all the wildflowers that have been dormant. So usually when I drive through the desert, it's really brown and dry. But the last time I drove through the desert, there were some flowers. It wasn't as much as I had hoped, but it was definitely pretty. And most of them are this pale yellow color. I think it's uh, sunflowers. So little California sunflowers, the little small ones. And also, um, dandelions and mustard. Dots are more my speed. I can't draw at all. Yeah, all you have to do is be able to scribble some grass and dot some dots for this project. 
And the kit, if you want to get this kit, is uh, linked below the stream. Nobody really bought this kit, so I have a lot of them still available. This was not popular. So the last two projects that I've done on my live stream that I've offered as a kit, nobody bought them. And by nobody, I mean like, you know, one or two people. So they have not been what everybody wants. I can't quite figure out what everybody wants. But my other kits are going to have to be very different because this doesn't seem to be it. Of course, you can't hit a home run every time. bit more how does that look I think it needs a little more at the bottom you can see the part where I can't see because of my angle this kind of bare I'm gonna try to lean over Has anybody ever been to um, Las Vegas and stayed at either New York, New York, or the park casinos? They're side by side. And if so, can you recommend any fun things to do? Because that's where I'm going to be staying in, in, in July. So I'm always looking for suggestions. Ooh, I love it. Another says, make happy accidents. You know, another witchy content creator called me the Bob Ross of witchcraft, and I was not mad at it. <laughs> Speaking of happy accidents. <laughs> Welcome, Danine. Who else did I miss? Danine says, I love dandelion, so beneficial to the bees and make great, makes great medicinal tea. I love um, the dandelions because not only the tea, but you can also use them in salads. You can use the flower, the stem, and the root in food, medicine, and magic. I love dandelions definitely a beneficial flower and not a weed so let's get our brown and let's get our white this little guy is not quite dry yet I'm gonna get my fan I'm gonna try and dry him haha <laughs> see if it works Every time we have something drying, we go back to the other thing that was drying and then that, let that dry and then let that dry and then let, you get the, you get the situation. Karen says, I have a ton of supplies. I just need to create a space to craft. Mickey says, our blue bonnets are, are definitely in bloom everywhere. Those and Indian paintbrushes. I don't know what that is. I'm still I'm still waiting to see the white wild roses. Okay, fan. It's starting to work here, but there's still a few little glops and gloops where I did it too thick. Hopeful says, I can't wait to spread my wildflower seeds. Still too early. We're getting six inches of snow on Friday. <gasps> Meg says, speaking of blooming, my St. John's wort plant just bloomed. It's lovely. Does it have um, 
a bright yellow, like a five petaled flower. Okay, we're almost there. Nearly dry. This is not a heat gun, so it doesn't quite dry as quickly. Helpful says, I, uh, I went to Las Vegas in 2003, stayed at the Paris. It's beautiful. Let's see if we can dry some of these flowers while we're chatting. <laughs> I hope the fan isn't too loud on the mic. Karen says, never been to Las Vegas. Helpful says, I was shopping at World Market today and saw a tiny Bob Ross bobblehead. <laughs> Bruja Rubia says, I'm trying to make eggshell candles. Uh, my suggestion to you is to put them in an egg holder because otherwise they will just keep rolling. Or you can fill them with wax while they're in um, an egg carton. But yeah, they need some kind of holder to keep them upright when you burn the, burn the actual candle itself. And then I recommend that you pour the wax all the way as far to the top as the opening will allow. And don't, don't pour it deep in there and leave a bunch of egg. Pour it right up to the top. That way the flame won't go super low and burn the uh, sides. Because sometimes if you don't make the uh, eggshell uh, nice and even, you know, if it has kind of a, crack, a cracked egg edge, then the flame of the candle might actually char it. Nikki says, Amy, if I could share a photo with you, I totally would. They are so pretty, sort of like a red blue bonnet, sort of. I'll, I'll look them up. Heather says, spread the seeds now and give a good cover of soil or mulch. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys can't hear that fan. Now I'm seeing if rats can eat dandelions. Absolutely they can. Humans can too. In fact, that's one of my, one of the cutest things to see a mouse in a dandelion just munching away. Nikki says, I like to make seed bombs and chuck them out my car window as I'm driving around. <laughs> Okay, I think we are dry enough to start goofing with that. Kathy says, uh, these last couple of days, I've been watching all of your videos and I'm almost caught up. Wow. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little white. Mm. Put it on my, oh, that's not even on the camera. There we go. Put a little white, and then we're gonna get back into the brown. And Gemma says, I wish I could stay till the end, but 4 a.m. comes early. Oh my goodness, you get up so early. Ooh, wow. And put a bunch of brown in there and make a tan color. Have a good night and I'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna get my brown in there. Mix it up, make a tan.
or maybe I would call that a light brown. Neil says, I love to spoil my rat ladies. We got them in September and I hand tamed them from a month old so they adore people. <laughs> I was visiting family and one of the things I love to do with my mom is to just watch fun reality TV and um, just, you know, mindless shows where there's challenges and people get you know voted off and all that kind of you know that kind of show I especially like the ones where um, you know there's little puzzles that they have to do or riddles they have to solve or mysteries I like that You're watching a show called The Trader, and one of the challenges was to go into a spooky cabin in the woods, and they had to finish a puzzle of some kind. All the while, people in one room had to deal with bugs falling on them and being in the room with bugs, while the other people in the other room had to deal with rats and mice. And I was like, I totally would be in the rat room. Like I would be wanting to like pick them up and give them cuddles and kisses. <laughs> Everybody was freaking out. And I was like, but rats are cute <laughs> and they're very smart. And I used to have one as a pet. His name was Amadeus. And uh, I love that little dude. Everybody, I think they were all pretending to be scared. I'm going to try and make the eye like a little bit lighter. We're going to come in with a little bit lighter color too. Let's see, we're going to do the, the little butt area, little back of the tail, and the belly, and the cheeks and the eye. Just kind of make a little bit of an oval or um, maybe kind of a diamond shape around the eye. There we go. Hmm, that's not focusing very well. Focus. a little bit lighter to kind of bring it out the details and the widow cheeks Karen says I'm a survivor fan I haven't watched survivor but I did watch a um, amazing race one time where they had people from Big Brother and Survivor and um, uh, also past amazing race people. All competing against each other. So they were past contestants on reality shows doing a reality show. That was interesting. So if I add a little bit of white, a little bit of this brown, to a little bit of this brown to this white, we can get an even lighter tan. Maybe that's too light. There we go. Maybe that. There we go. Zoom out a bit. We'll have more success. Neil says rats are incredibly smart animals. My shyest one knows how to find her cage in the room and 
another knows how her safe people. It's almost like dry brushing. I almost want to take some of the paint off my off of my brush real quick. So it's almost like dry brushing. Inca says, I'm back. I must have missed a bunch. Not really. Take some of the paint off and just kind of dry brush it a little bit. We've been going from rabbit to grass to rabbit to grass. So it's just a paint it, let it dry, paint it, let it dry kind of thing that we've been doing. I think I made my brush too dry. I'm always asking for suggestions on any shows that people have been watching that they're enjoying on streaming. So I can suggest um, I'm enjoying a show called The Gentleman on, I believe it's Netflix, but I've only seen two episodes. But it's a Guy Ritchie. So if you like that kind of English gangster kind of plot that Guy Ritchie likes to do, then it might be for you. I feel like I need to take this back down with some brown. I think I went maybe too light. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's bring some more brown back into it. As Brock says, no, Krista says, hi Krista. I really like how you show the subject and yourself. Thank you. I mostly used to just only show the subject and I've only just been showing myself in the last two live streams. I just made this little, this little circle. <laughs> and uh, it was one of the things that I've been promising people for years that I was going to be more on my own channel. And I kept chickening out and so I finally did it. And you guys wanna know what it was? that got me over the edge. It was getting 100,000 subs. Once I hit the number 100,000, I was like, I don't care anymore, I'm gonna show my face. And you know, that doesn't mean anything in the, lo in the long and short of it. Whether I had 30,000 or 100,000, it doesn't matter. But somehow in my mind, clicked over, and I was like, I hit that goal, And mentally, that was what I needed, I guess. Who knows, I'm weird. There we go, we're gonna call that done. And the other thing we gotta do is wait for this little dude to dry because he is gonna get a little bit of um, a black dot with a marker in his eye to kind of bring his eye back out, so. I'm gonna wait for him to dry, but let's go back to this. This whole project is do one thing and then let it dry and do the other thing. As Brock says, Taskmaster, English reality show with comedians who compete against one another. It's free on YouTube. Mmm. Did you say season 14 is great or season one through four? I wasn't sure if that was 14 or... Feud on Hulu, okay. I should be writing this. Umbrella Academy. That is something I watched season one of, but I forgot that it was a thing. I'm writing all these down. Ooh, Penny Dreadful. I know that's one I've been saying I'm going to watch, but 
we never did. Feud and what was the other one? Bear on Hulu and trying to get into Shogun. No, I tried to, couldn't do it. Mm -mm. I tried one episode of Shogun and I was like, I will not be watching this, thank you. Oh, Swans. What streaming service is that one on? Swans. Bruja says the gentleman is okay. I've only seen two episodes. I'm hoping it stays good. The brother seems like an idiot, but I guess that's the point, right? He causes the problems and the gentleman fixes them. How are we doing on this being dry? Not 100%, but close enough probably. Love Capote and the Swans. Okay, I gotta write that one down. Is it just called Swans or is it called Capote and the Swans? You know, it says, I think the last show I watched was back in January and it was an adult cartoon on Prime. In a blue eye samurai or was that Netflix? Feud, Capote versus the Swan. So that is Feud. Okay, I was wondering what Feud was. <laughs> I was going to have to look that up after the stream. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do while this interior portion is drying is we're going to go with these little dudes. two of every color and in the first one I did I'll show you guys the first one I did and I already did a video on this so you guys can see I did one in each corner and then a bunch of them at the bottom but I'm thinking I might want to do them all around the edge Maha what is the show you're talking about It might have been set in the 1920s in Australia. What was the show? What was the show? Miss Fisher Murders. I scrolled up and found it. <laughs> like a female Poirot. I love um, you know, anything in that kind of Agatha Christie styles. Anybody who hasn't seen it, um, Death and Other Details on Hulu. It's got that, it's got that uh, kind of Agatha Christie vibe to it, but it's in modern times. Let's see if we even like this. Okay, so that is an option. What do you guys think of that? Is it too weird? 
Oh, Heather, thank you for craft for gifting another membership. Janet Clark was gifted a membership. Thank you. Mandy Patinkin is in death and other details. And it's really fun all the way to the end. Keeps you guessing. It's not as predictable as I kind of feared it was going to be in the beginning. Susan says, have to go deal with supper. Thanks for sharing all. And MC, you're so welcome. And thanks for joining in. What do you guys think of it around as opposed to inside? And then this little guy would be like that. Or we could have him like jumping up if we wanted to. We could do this or that. We could try having it all in the grass everywhere, but I, it doesn't look as realistic as I had hoped. Or we can have this little guy like this and we can just have eggs all around him. I think it's time to vote. Okay, so I think that this is A, do it with all of them at the bottom. B, is all around the outside like I showed before and C is corners and this inside situation so A B is around the outside and C is this kind of um, abstract in the grass kind of thing so vote in chat A B or C I will have another drink. Mm -hmm. We got some A's, we got some B's. One C so far. B is starting to run away with it. If you like the A or C idea, get your vote in. Because as many years ago, I heard of the Rice Krispie Sculpture Contest that year and several others, I made Rice Krispie rabbits like life-sized rabbits. <laughs> go big or go home, <laughs> for sure. Okay, last few minutes to get your vote in. Hey, did I, did my picture freeze on screen? Oh no, I was just being really still. <laughs> Everybody's going for B. I don't think A and C could win it, even if everybody jumped in right now. So, Inca says, cheers, Amy. I have no drink, so I'll just have to toast with a turkey and Swiss sandwich. <laughs> cheers to everybody and happy Ostara and spring equinox. I can't wait to put a March vlog together for everybody. I tried to get some pictures of um, wildflowers in the desert. I wasn't super successful, so I thought, nah, maybe I won't do a vlog. But then... I went to the butterfly 
thing today and I got so much cool footage that I'm like, yeah, maybe I will do a vlog. If you have a black marker, you can also fill in the eye just to give it a little bit of reality or black paint or whatever. Hmm, I don't think my mom, my paint was dry, but gives it. Okay, B1 for sure. So let's do B. B was around the outside. So you can use any glue. I'm just using um, like school glue, white glue. Meg says, I'm off to dinner. Happy dinner. Enjoy yourself. Okay, I'm gonna do the corners first and then fill in the I try to get the same colors kind of farther away from each other so it's not too repeated. Blessed Alban Ehler Ruth Ritter, welcome. And Pink Flamingo also, hello. Anybody who uh, voted in the in the voting who was a new name to me, welcome, welcome. Some people don't chat but love to vote. <laughs> That's me. I usually lurk. I lurk on all my streams that I watch. I like it. It looks good. Oh, I forgot to do. I forgot to glue this guy down. <laughs> what is Alban Ehler? It is the Celtic Druid name of Ostara. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Okay, and the final gluing is the gluing of the rabbit. And just kind of right in the middle, I think. And then just let the whole thing dry. How fun. That's a fun little hour and a half project. Then you can make it an altar tile. Put some colorful candles around it on your Ostar altar. Or put it in your house or on your dining table. That's cute. I like it. We did have a couple of little fudgy ups there, but that's okay. This was the other version that I did for the video. <laughs> Let's zoom out so you can see my cool little decorations that I spent five minutes making. Put both of these guys up here. All right. Yay. Oh, the March Hare leaping? Yeah, I can do that. The March Hare leaping is a good idea. Let me, um, let me get my, wipe my glue up. That's a good thing with school glue. You can just wipe it right up and uh, it's totally fine. It's not gonna show on the final product. There we go. 
a little bit of a leap. And then I could go back once everything's dry and try to fix up some of those silly flowers that I messed up, but with the extra green. But I like it. I like how these guys came out. Both of them are a little different, but cool. It's a little small for wall decor, but you could definitely put it on like a, um, a wall that has a lot of different things. Karen says, I love this box. Yeah, and the cool thing is it's wide enough and I haven't, um, I haven't painted the edges, but technically, yes, you should paint the edges. It's wide enough to sit on an altar like that. Oops, I forgot this wasn't dry. <laughs> But it's technically wide enough to, to sit up on an altar so you could be looking at it this direction too. Or you could put a little something on the back and hang it for sure. Absolutely. Include the rabbit shell bee. Yes, if I can remember that I, it's not dry yet. I'm so used to using hot glue on my live streams to make things permanent really quickly that I forgot this was white glue. <laughs> Mickey says, this one is much better than the other one. So much better if I could afford it, I would go buy the kit right now. Well, I think this kit is a little less expensive than the one um, from February. The February one ended up being so expensive because I weighed the whole project. It, this is a little six inch. And the February one was a 10 inch and the difference in weight and the price to mail it out was huge difference. It was like a $10 difference in, in shipping. So that made the February one so expensive. This one's, I think, um, 12 or $13 less. <laughs> so just the difference in shipping for sure. Inka says, in my old flat, I had a little well that was just a panel, and this would be perfect in that space. <laughs> Get a little six-incher. Well, you guys, this kit is going to just stay up on my Etsy shop, so if you want to do it for next year, it'll probably still be there. Because <laughs> nobody bought this kit, and I had enough to sell. I think I'd make 20 of them, so probably it'll just be in stock forever. And that I think is going to do it for me. Let's look at the calendar and see what the next live stream date is. I think it's, um, it's the last Friday of the month. So that's going to be Friday the 29th at 6 PM Pacific. And it will be a live stream planning for the month of April. So if you're a patron, you are going to get, um, I think the mood boards will come out on the 23rd for April, and then the planner stickers will come out on the 24th for April, and then we'll have the planning stream on the 29th. Excuse me, so 6 p.m. Pacific time, the last Friday of the month. So if you are into planning, or just want to hang out and chit chat or do crafts or do projects or have dinner while I'm live streaming, join me on Friday, the 29th, a week and two days from today. And that'll be my next live stream. Have a great night, everybody. Have a great Ostara. Have a great spring equinox. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.